Hello, hi there guys, this is one more welcome to Stein Codes. In today's video, we'll be going over some of the Ghetto development updates, and this is by no means an official video from, and I'm not uh, in the dev team or anything like that, I'm just here, and well, I've just started contributing to the Ghetto community, and I've been following up on most of the updates, and I thought that I should make a video and let all of you guys who have not been, well, updated with Ghetto as much as I have, know a few of the things that you should know about Ghetto. So the first thing is Android exporting. So the Android exporting uh, was made a dis into a discussion by Redux and the proposal for creating a new export system uh, and for, for, for creating APKs and exporting to Android has been well decided upon. And it will allow for installing extensions such as add mobs directly through UI, so no more hacking away on the APK, and a lot less code will be needed. And the only con that I know about is well, the Android SDK will need to be a part of it. And another con probably might be that Gradle will need to be a part of it, and will just have some dependency issues with. Well, I've had to deal with a few in the past when I was using libgdx, but well. Let's hope for the best. And a bad news about this one is that it's probably not gonna make itself into well 3.1 actually. Not at all probably it's probably not gonna happen that it will make into the 3.1 because nobody has taken up working on it yet and it's probably gonna be a long project. Well, at least that, uh, from my perspective, I don't have any experience with creating exporting systems, so I cannot tell. But uh, I, nobody has taken it up, and hopefully soon somebody will, and we'll see it before too long. And I'm definitely sure that we'll see it before 3.2. So you can just stay tuned and hope for the best. The next update, and probably the reason why it's not going to make into 3.1, is because the 3.1 alpha is right in the corner. It will make itself uh, by July 1st. Well, that's what the devs are planning. And as you can see, the meshes and some of the features that have been completed already, and some of the features that are still in work, and most of these features are under, well, extremely heavy development. If you are following the devs on the Twitter, you might uh, know already, but if you don't, then a new inspector system has been completed. Constructive solid geometry, that means, well, proce uh, proce not procedural, but Actually, dynamic geometry, such as something you can see in Unreal, has been completed. 2D skeletons, 2D meshes, and all that stuff has finally been completed. So you can look into that if you build the master. And if you want to have a copy of the master, you can just put it down in the comments, and I might just upload one. Or you can just download it from one of the nightly builds from the devs have out there. I will put the links to everything that I have talked about in the description. I will try to put most of the links down in the description. If I forget anything, you can just remind me in the comment section. So the next thing is the C Sharp dev has said that he will be completing the C Sharp export system. So well, we can wish that it is there. It makes it in cell. It makes itself into the 3.1. And the last news is the box side uh, from box side dev. He has created a pretty decent tool over here. It's a GPU accelerated texture paint inside of Ghetto, and it works well, pretty awesome. It, it is completely perfect from my point of view. And well, it's currently only a proof of concept and has got a lot of limitations, but you can just go onto the GitHub link and download it and see it for yourself. And but the next tweet from Boxside Dev tells us that one of the Members of the Ghetto team have started working on Ghetto Engine uh, Texture Painter. So this might actually become a part of Ghetto in future, or at least a separate program. Well, here's to hoping that might make it itself into Ghetto. Well, this was a pretty big news, so I thought I should put it here in the updates. So I will be making more of these videos uh, now and then whenever I get some big updates about Ghetto. So if you want to know anything or if you have any updates, you can just tell me if I forgot to mention them in the comment section. And if you, well, think that I probably should make more, then you can just like the video 
and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated to more of my content and well there's also the notification icon so that's it oh yes now self promotion time so <laughs> i've i've been working on this website over here so it's a pretty simple website hosted on github it uses jekyll and well some of the things that i normally don't use in terms of well programming and stuff but well, I sort of managed to break through and well learn Liquid, Jekyll, Ruby and a few things. Well, only the basics, but that was enough for creating this site. And I hope that I will be able to complete it soon enough and upload both written and video tutorials in perfect harmony or whatever. <laughs> and so that you can get the best of both worlds. And I will trying I will try to do my best to help you guys out with learning ghetto and other free and open source tools that I might come across and find awesome. So hope to see you guys later in my future videos. And if you like the video, like it. If you want to see more, then sub. And well, bye for now and see you guys.